On a cold January day in Toronto, I woke up at 6 a.m. I did some breath work, then I walked into a warm shower to start my day. After five minutes of washing myself awake, I saw the countdown on my phone start to trickle down. Five, four, three, two, one. And once the timer hit zero, I twisted the knob all the way to the right and ice cold water proceeded to spike onto my head and body. I started to get shocked and I started to experience shortness of breath. After about 10 seconds, I felt cold pricks on my skin. My head started to freeze as if I like gulped down a slushy way too fast. And this was the start of my cold shower journey. So why cold showers? I'm not a masochist, but I need challenges in my life to keep things exciting. And cold showers, they're nothing new, but I've always avoided them because I love the comfort of a warm shower. Yet, ever since I eliminated alcohol, which you can actually see in the video right there, I wanted to find a new way to challenge myself. And cold showers were right up my alley because number one, they were hard to do, and number two, they had some really cool benefits. So how do our bodies actually react to coldness? So the skin is our biggest organ in our body. Body. When it's exposed to cold temperatures, the body responds in an attempt to warm us up. This response is known as thermoregulation. In order to warm the body, we can shiver to generate warmth, or we can release stored energy from our muscles and liver in the form of heat. This process also activates our fight or flight response. So what are some benefits of doing cold showers? So number one is going to be increased metabolism. There is a difference between white fat and brown fat. And when you take a cold shower, you activate this thing called brown fat. And brown fat breaks down blood sugar and fat molecules to create heat and help you maintain body temperature. In cold temperatures, such as like taking a cold shower, activate brown fat, which may lead to an increase in metabolism as a result. Reduced stress levels. Taking cold showers imposes a small amount of stress on your body which leads to a process called hardening. This means that your nervous system gradually gets used to handling moderate levels of stress. The hardening process also helps you keep a cool head the next time that you feel or find yourself in a stressful situation. Higher levels of alertness. So guess what? Cold showers, they wake you up, okay? They induce a higher state of alertness. The cold also stimulates you to take deeper breaths, decreasing the level of CO2 throughout the body, helping you concentrate. So cold showers thus keep you ready and focused throughout the entire day. Increased levels of the chemicals dopamine and norepinephrine. So dopamine and norepinephrine are both neurochemicals that are responsible for a number of functions in the body, including mood, cognitive function, and your energy. So when levels of these neurochemicals are increased, then you can actually experience a number of benefits, improved mood, improved brain function, improved sleep quality, and feeling like your energy levels are increased a stronger immune system. So studies have actually found that taking a cold shower increases the number of white blood cells in your body. These blood cells protect your body against diseases and researchers believe that this process is related to an increase of metabolic rate which stimulates the immune response. And the final benefit is going to be increased willpower. So it takes a strong mind to endure the cold for extended periods of time. By incorporating cold showers into your daily routine, you are strengthening your willpower, which benefits a lot of aspects in your daily life. Now, all of these benefits sound good on paper, but would they stand the test in real life? So here's what I learned by doing 30 days of cold showers. Lesson number one is liquid courage. It takes a lot of chutzpah okay, to turn that knob. I used a countdown timer starting from five minutes and I found this to be very helpful in committing to turning that knob and committing to the cold. And the habit of doing something when it's time to do it, especially in a world of procrastination, is a superpower. And in a weird way, this gave me courage to cut the amount of time of like thinking about a task to actually just taking action and doing it right at the moment of thinking about it. Lesson number two is going to be feelings of well-being and enhanced mood. So after doing cold showers, I found my mood to be elevated. Now, I'm not gonna say that I was happier per se, but I just felt lighter. You know, I felt more optimistic about the day and that carried on for the greater part of the morning. So why is this? Well, there are so many cold receptors in the skin. The experience sends electrical impulses to the brain, which increases your focus and also the release of endorphins that make you happier. I found that my mood and my focus in life 
or elevated. Lesson number three is my heart rate variability improved. So heart rate variability is, is actually called HRV. It measures the variation of time between your heartbeats. It's a marker that shows you like how stressed you are or how recovered you are on a day-to-day -day basis. So a low HRV means high stress and a high HRV means low stress. And after doing cold showers, my HRV increased by about 5%. Now you may be wondering how I measured this. I use my aura ring. All right, that's one of the best ways I know how to measure. You can also use like a chest strap as well. And also a few recent studies revealed that cold exposure improves HRV because of the release of endogenous dopamine and norepinephrine. So either way, my HRV improved and that made me feel better on a day-by-day -day basis. Lesson number four is increased alertness and decreased anxiety. So after doing cold showers, I drank coffee because I wanted to, not because I had to. I was just more alert and awake, which is logical when you're standing in ice cold water for a minute or longer. Now, this feeling would last for the greater part of my morning and had a relaxing effect once it wore off in the afternoon. And also, I'm guessing due to the changes in my HRV and stress levels and the release of dopamine, I found that I was able to go through the day with more ease and less anxiety. Now, I'm not perfect, nor do I pretend to be. Sometimes I worry about things that I shouldn't and I get anxious. So after doing cold showers, I found myself to be less anxious than usual. And this didn't mean that the thoughts didn't come in, but I had a better frame of mind to deal with them. Maybe this is a placebo effect, maybe not. But again, like most things don't seem that stressful when your brain and body are better able to handle them. And the final lesson is diminishing returns. So to feel the same effects as I listed above, I needed to increase the time that I exposed myself to the cold. So I started with 15 seconds and I kept on having to increase the length of time every single week. And I'll talk about this in the tips later on. So your body gets used to whatever stimulus that you place upon it. It's just like weightlifting or doing cardio or anything else that you want to get better in. You actually have to go harder or you have to do more in order to elicit the same gains as before. So right now I'm up to doing cold showers for about a minute. But but I know I'm going to have to up that and eventually kind of like go harder at it to get the same benefits as I'm talking about right now. And it just is what it is. So here are some tips on how to do cold showers. If you're watching this, you may be like, hmm, maybe I wanna do this, I don't know. So I'll tell you my first tip, which is to start with a timer. Now the act of doing a cold shower is against every conceivable bone in your brain and body. So it's best to have a trigger that tells you when to start and when to stop. So I set up an interval timer for a five minute warm shower followed by a one minute cold shower. Once I saw the timer count down to zero, it was time to turn the knob. I didn't want to do it, but the timer was a forcing function to not wimp out and to commit to the action. So the next tip is to treat it like weight training and to give it some progressive overload. So when you're lifting weights, you're steadily increasing the weight or the volume that you're lifting. So the same thing goes with cold showers. I didn't start off with one minute right off the bat. I started off in my first week with 15 seconds. The second week I did 30 seconds. The third week I did 45 seconds. And the final week I did one minute. So especially if you're new to this and you don't want to jump two feet in, it's best to acclimate yourself week by week to get the hang of it. Tip number three and the final one is to end your showers in the cold. So I made the biggest mistake of doing a cold shower and then doing a warm shower afterwards. I only found the benefits that I listed above by ending off with a cold shower. So one thing that you may want to do if you choose to do this is to do the warm shower first so you get you know, all the feel good comfort benefits of that. And then afterwards you end it off in a cold shower and you leave the shower immediately. That's how you get those benefits. So what happens next? You know, it was hard, but after a month I completed my challenge. So what do I do now? I don't know yet. Uh, I love starting my mornings with a nice warm shower and the thought of forcing myself to expose myself to a cold shower seems like torture, at least for the time that I'm doing it. But the benefits are undeniable. As the saying goes, hard choices, easy life, easy choices, hard life. I think at some point, if I continue this on, I'm going to have to move on to doing full on ice baths to derive the same benefit. But for now, I'm going to continue doing cold showers for the simple fact that doing hard things that have benefits, especially when it's like first thing in the morning, it has a net positive effect on my life. So what about you? 
Have you thought about doing cold chars? Have you done them before? I would love to hear that in the comments below. And if you've made it this far, I really do appreciate your attention. Thank you so much. And please like and subscribe to the video. I will be coming out with more of these every single week. Now, if you want to improve yourself or go a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole of other areas to make yourself better, I do have some videos that you can watch here and here. But in the meantime, I will see you next week for the next video. You have a great week and peace. Take care.